product. Also, people who download the plans to make their own TV Be Gone remote control, they enthusiastically show their friends this cool thing that they made that turns TVs off in public places. That is great PR. Some percentage of those people make their own. I don't get a cent from them. But a larger percentage of those people buy my product. You just can't pay for this kind of advertising. It's too expensive. And it's free when you do it with open source. As a result of this, more people are going around turning TVs off in public places, making the world a better place for everyone, which of course is the original idea. Everybody wins. TV Be Gone, uh, the, the success of all this, got me invited to talks all over the place, including maker fairs and hacker conferences and schools. Uh, in particular, I love the communities at hacker conferences and at maker fairs. But even though they're called maker fairs, and even though people are showing off their cool projects and sharing them at hacker conferences and maker fairs, no one was actually making anything. So after my first ones, I got involved with these events and sharing what I love, which is teaching people how to solder, solder, I mean, uh, speaking English, not American, how to solder and make cool things with electronics. I love doing that. I've been a teacher a lot of my life as well. Um, and this became very, very popular at all these events. I needed kits to teach people how to solder and make cool things, so I created a TV Be Gone kit, also open source, and many other kits, um, including a trippy RGB waves kit, which I'll show you in a little bit, and that's what I'll be teaching with uh, how to solder uh, at workshops tomorrow, which everyone's invited to, if you like. Uh, these workshops at all these events also turn out to be fantastic PR for TV Be Gone and my business. You know, again, just sharing what I love turns out to be good for other people and me. Um, my involvement with Maker Fair became, uh, it just grew over time. It got to be way huge where I'd teach 3,100 people or more how to solder in one weekend with the help of a lot of volunteers. Um, and uh, shortly after I was given this Maker Hero Award, the first time a Maker Hero Award was, uh, it was actually created, created to give me the award, and it was actually called the Mitch Altman Maker Hero Award, which was uh, kind of amazing. And, you know, uh, if you want to see a video of me crying for joy, uh, you can see me accepting that on YouTube if you search for it. Um, it was an amazing honor to be, uh, uh, for me to be given.